Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will see how we can create a customized field to use inside a click filter. The data which I am going to use for this application is this, where we have sales data by order date for different country, category and brands. This data you can download from the link provided inside the description. This data is inside data folder. I have loaded this data inside click application and, and at the front end I have created one filter. That filter has got three dimensions, brand, category and country and one state table where the dimension is brand and sum of sales is the expression. So the requirement is we need to create a new field, a calculated field named as a class and this field is representing class A, class B, class C and class D for various brands means if the sales of a brand is more than 10,000 then we need to consider as class A. If the sales of any brand greater than equal to 5,000 but less than 10,000 then that brand is in class B. Similarly for class C the brand sales is more than 1000 but less than 5000 and class D where we have brand sales is less than 1000. So how can we create this filter at front end? We can create the filter at the back end. So say if I will do something like this, if I will say load brand sum of sales as total sales resident of sales table and because I have used aggregation function here I have to use group by brand and I will say here class. So when I load this one at the front end I will create another table and in that table I will keep brand and total sales. So this will give me the same answer compared to what we have in this table. So this table is sales by brand. So this will also give me the same result and sum of sales descending order. So this both the tables will give me the same answer. I can write something here left join class and I will say load brand and I will say if total sales greater than equal to 10,000 then brand A means class A and I will write the same here again and here if it is greater than equal to 5,000 then class B. Now for C and D for C we have greater than equal to 1000 and if any brand sales any brand sales is not falling in A, B, C then it will be D. So now I will close the bracket and I will say class and because we have used total sales from class I can use I can say resident of class. Now I will load this and at the front end I will add class inside this chart. So you can see here we are getting A for 10,000 up to 10,000, B for up to B up to 5,000, C up to 1,000 and rest are D. So this is what we have created at the back end. But the issue when you create at the back end is say I will select Australia. Then we will not get this class based on sales inside the country Australia. That means the class A, B, C, D still working based on the total sales, not based on the sales in Australia. Similarly, if I will select computing, that means the class is still defined based on total sales instead of the sales for the category computing. So what we need here is we need class for all the brands which should also work 
based on the selections in category or country so to do that we cannot use this we cannot define our brand class at the back end we need to do it at the front end then only it will be dynamic based on category and country selections so to do that we need to create a calculated dimension inside the filter so how to do this i will add one more dimension here and that will be based on a calculated dimension so i will say if sum of sales greater than equal to 10000 then class a then i will say if it is greater than 5000 then class b if it is greater than 1000 then class c otherwise class d and i have to close the bracket for three times when i will do the apply here it's not going to work so we are getting invalid dimension so the rule for click is whenever you are using any expression inside the dimension that means it is called as a calculated dimension so whenever you are doing any calculated dimension you need to compulsory agar that expression with respective dimension so here we need to do this based on our brand i will agar it with my brand so when i will do agar with brand you can see now we are getting a b c and d so we got now a b c d and what i will do here is i will use this as a calculated dimension here in my this chart and i will give name as class so now you can see we are getting similar output which we have got on the right hand side so you can see a is up to 10000 b is up to 5000 c is up to 1000 and then rest are d so the class is there now so what will happen if i will select camera here it is working so you can see now so we are getting a b c and d class based on our selection and on the right hand side table it is not working so on the right hand side table you can see that the sales is not working because the sales is different for the very first brand the sales is 30661 but actual sales for camera is 21254 and if i will select australia also here then we don't have any single brand having class a means we don't have any single brand in australia where the category of camera is selling more than 10000 but the right hand side table will not work but what will happen if i will select a so once i select a i am able to see all the brands having sales of 10000 but rest of the class now hidden why because when we have done agar by brand and when we select a respective brand it is only considering that brand and we need to somehow ignore our selection in this list box so what i will do here is i will go to this expression and i will ignore the selection in brand and the same i am going to apply in rest of the if statement and now you can see that whenever i am selecting a we are getting values with respect to a but we are also able to see other brands so if i will select c you can see we are only getting c here and if i will select tv and audio and if i will select a then we have only one brand belongs to a class i can also do something here this 
calculated dimension i can add to the master item here and i will name as class so next time i can directly use this class here so if i will remove this and if i will add this calculated dimension class inside my this chart it will work accordingly so hope you like this video thanks and have a great day